So, uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to Bronek, and he is, I can't even read the length of that talk, so uh, <laughs> Bronek, if you'd like to take over with uh, why bother or how writing better code can ruin your health and career or not, over to you, Bronek. There we go. Okay, so this is a talk I created today. Um, it might fit into 10 or 15 minutes, but I decided to compress it into five, because why not? So, uh, what about me? I've been programming a long time, joined ACCU some time ago. I work in finance. My accent is Polish, in case you wonder. I had a burnout, and this talk is about more about how to avoid burnout and how this may hurt you and, and what you do, you know, so you don't get it. So that's the ruin your health and career aspect here. Right. Um, you wrote some good code. You are very happy, right? It maybe improved automated testing coverage or it improved the deployment. You have automated rollback, maybe even backwards compatibility, logging metrics, health monitoring, everything's taken care of. You are very proud of yourself, right? And your users are very happy. Congratulations. Very good. Good on you. Now, you want to write more of it because it feels great. What could go wrong? Can it ruin you? Well, if you fall into one of those traps I am about to present, yes, it might. Trap number one, I'm in the flow. Don't interrupt me. I want to do more and more coding because I love it. 14 hours a day for two weeks. Guess what happens next? You will feel very bad at some point. You will be very unhappy with your work. We call that burnout. So how do you manage that? Put a limit of time. Uh, your mental health is really, really important. You need human contact, even if you don't feel like it. You do. You are human. Um, others need contact with you. You have your loved ones, maybe, right? And you have to take care of your body, of course, right? Don't forget that. Um, you've done something right. You want to do it yourself again and again because no one else will do it right. Wrong. Teach them. Education is important. Even push your agenda if you need to. Um, people like giving you tasks because they know they can rely on you. You do it right. No, that's not the way to do it. Putting more on a plate is not your solution. You have to manage your focus. You have the upfront with what you want to do or what, what you plan to be doing, right? And what you want others to do. Delegate work. Even if you are not the boss, delegating is fine between peers. It works. Uh, you don't want to talk with people. It's a waste of time. Wrong. That's bollocks. Talk with people, educate them, help them, reach out for help if you need to. That's the way to do it. That's the way the things will scale. And don't be afraid to push your agenda. You want things done right? Right? You want things done right? Okay. Just tell people how it needs to be done. That's, that's what we call agenda. Push it. Um, don't waste time talking with your boss. Wrong. Here's the thing about bosses. They very often don't know how you, you personally, will do your work in optimal manner. It's up to you. You have to tell your boss how you will do your way, your work in optimal manner. So we have to talk with them. Again, don't be afraid to push your agenda. Do involve your boss into, into time planning. The job of your boss is to manage your team and it's to manage you. Help them out. They don't know everything. Um, maybe you are tempted to ignore colleagues from other teams because it's just other team, right? That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, you have to talk with them as well because they may do work for you. There are developers and maybe they have library. That's just, that was the right thing. And it's good quality maybe even, or just, you know, good enough for you. Use that library instead of writing your own or whatever else you can delegate to other teams, see what they do, see how they can help you. And, um, you know, things will work better for you and for your team as well. Okay, so this is the silly one because, you know, you are on the conference, right? So you probably don't think that you already know everything. Nevertheless, here are some things that you might want to learn just to keep your interests refreshed and, you know, your mind fresh. Uh, learning is important and it keeps you away from coding when you are coding too much. So yeah, do that. Lessons. 
timekeeping is important. Good code is important. Motivation why you write good code is important. And motivation to write code is important as well. Education, communication, learning, all of those things really do matter. And here are some plugs at the end. If you wonder what is it to get a burnout, there you go. Jerome Petasoni, uh, I really, really recommend that talk. Unicorn Project, brilliant book about five ideals, release it about DevOps and how you make your things work right. And also Martin Klebman, in case you want to. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bronick. Thank you so much. Showing that I can forcibly eject people off stage with the first talk. I salute you. So before lockdown, before lockdown, I was in a restaurant. I called over the waiter and I said, what's this? These eggs are off. I was so annoyed when he said, well, don't blame me. I only laid the table. <laughs>